Joining us now to talk about the NBA playoffs, former NBA All-Star John Starks. John played for four NBA teams, most famously spending near, nearly a decade with the New York Knicks. John, thanks for being with us. You're welcome. All right, so the NBA has changed things up this year with the addition of a four-team play-in tournament. Flat out, John, do you like it? Do you like having more teams <laughs> with the chance to fight this thing out? Oh, man. You know, I'm a traditionalist. <laughs> uh, obviously, you know, I had to throw it back to uh, our days where, you know, the best 16 teams at the end of the season make it in. Uh, I know that the uh, season was cut short, obviously, because of uh, the pandemic and they just had to play 72 games. So uh, the NBA, to their credit, you know, they just wanted to give everybody uh, who was, you know, teetering around that 10th tenth, uh, tenth spot a chance to uh, get in. So the NBA has done a fantastic job of continuing to try to push the envelope. They did it last year by building a bubble to keep players safe, give fans a chance to watch a title during a pandemic. Now, this year the fans are back. How big is that, especially from your perspective, because you fed on the crowd, I know that for a fact, that people are not only able to watch live sports, but athletes like yourself and like LeBron James and those playing in this tournament have fans cheering them on. Yeah, it means a lot, you know what I mean? Because you can never duplicate the energy level that's in a, in an arena, uh, especially during the uh, playoffs. And so to be able to have the fans back, obviously is not at full capacity, uh, but just even if you just have a hundred fans in there, you know, cheering and what, it makes a big difference. But, you know, uh, the Knicks is going to have about, I think about 15,000 fans in there. So it's going to feel like a pack house. Uh, I think all these arenas are excited that the fans and the fans are excited to be back and it's playoff time. So uh, do or die. John, is it is it good that the Knicks are back in the playoffs? I know I, I set you up there. I know the answer to this. <laughs> no, it, it's great. You know, I think it's great for the league. Uh, obviously, it's great for the Knicks organization. And, you know, I'm ecstatic uh, just to have playoff atmosphere back in the city and uh the fans are just, you know, crazy. I, I think uh, the Knicks sold out for the first two home games in, in less than 20 minutes or hours, something like that. So uh, you, you know that we've been hungry for playoff basketball. And now that it's back, uh, it's exciting times in New York. Before I get your predictions on who wins this NBA playoffs, I do want to ask you about the last two seasons. as Players have been outspoken about the need for yeah. social equality. Is this a sign of the times with social media, or, or is this a move for players to have their voices heard, maybe away from the court? I, I agree with you 100%. I, I think, uh, you know, you have to take your head off to these players because they could easily sit on the sideline and let this uh, this pass pass by. But uh, to their credit, you know, they understand that, hey, I come for those from those communities. And so for me to take a blind eye to it, it's not the right thing to do. And, you know, it's great to see that everybody, I mean, no matter what, what your rates are, you know, everybody is standing up for this, uh, for this uh, cause. And so it's important that uh, players, uh, you know, in no matter what sport, uh, take part in this. And, and it's great to see that the NBA is leading the charge. Was there a time when you were playing that maybe players would have liked to speak out on certain issues that were affecting uh, men and women away from the game of basketball? Yeah, I think players did. Uh, but obviously, you know, the times was different back then. Uh, I think uh, now because of social media, uh, it gives these players a, a big st uh, stage to maybe to voice their opinions on. We didn't have that back then. And so rather if we was – uh, getting uh, interviewed by reporters, uh, uh, what have you, you know, you probably you pretty much stuck to the to the script. And so, but you know, you have to uh, be able to uh, understand the climate now. The climate has changed, and it's great that uh, these guys are, are truly taking the the lead on this uh, issue. John, very quickly, who wins the NBA playoffs? The New York Knicks. Oh, you know, come on. Come, that, that's it. a homer pick, John. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stay home, man. Okay. I, I have to believe in my team. I, I love the way they played this year. Uh, no one gave them a chance. Uh, you even get to the playoff. Now they're a fourth seed. But as you know, this is a toss-up this year. You don't know who's yeah. going to win it. And so I'm excited about our chances uh, leading into the playoffs. All right. Former New York Knicks, John Starks, thanks so much. We hope to have you back on News Nation very soon. All right. Thank you. Tonight on